Mulligans. I'm very excited because it's finally Valentine's Day week and I love Valentine's Day spreads. I think they're my favorite. I, I'm gonna say that, but when fall rolls around, I will say that it's fall. But right now it's Valentine's Day. And this week is gonna be a bit different because I'm not gonna be using Doris sticker books. I like to try and show you guys how to do spreads without Doris or using different sticker books or different stickers from various places. So this week, I'm going to be using the Erin Condren sticker books. I have the monthly collection, the school one, which I'm probably just gonna use for these gold foiled heart banners and then the fun way to plan classic collection has a bunch of different stickers because I want to do kind of a pink red and gold theme if you look in the February page for the monthly sticker book they have a lot of lovely gold foiling and I think it'll be really cool to try and incorporate that into my spread so I'm gonna be using these books but I'm also gonna be using the Happy Planner sticker books. This one is great because it is all gold foil stuff. And then I also have this one just to add a little bit extra stickers in. I'm of course gonna be using my stickers from Etsy shops and Oh Hello as well, but I think it'll be a cool way to see how to make this spread come together with something other than Doris. Let's start with the bottom section and remove all of the blog post sticky notes. I'm gonna take this gold washi tape that I got from the Target dollar spot quite a while ago, but I bought like two rolls, so I can be using this for quite a while. Then I'm gonna take this pink, white, and red washi tape for along the side. Next, it's MDN time, and I'm definitely using these February pink ones. Now let's work on the sidebar, and I'm gonna take this with love sticker, and put it up in the top. Then I'm gonna take a pink social media sidebar and put it right below it. Next is habit trackers, and I'm gonna coordinate between the red and the pink ones. I'm only gonna use three this week because I found that I haven't really been using the other ones that well, and I'm going to take this little envelope. Before we get too far into things, I'm gonna take the Happy Valentine's Day sticker and put it at the bottom of Valentine's Day. Now I'm gonna go in with this mini Valentine's Day weekly kit and use the full boxes that I have left to scatter throughout the spread. And I think I'll probably use a couple from the With Love mini weekly kit as well. We put the weekend banner somewhere, maybe on the bottom. Let's mix things up. I'm gonna put a rainbow checklist in the top corner for Sunday's new releases. I've already written in a couple of them that I know we are releasing. On Monday, I want to design new releases. So I have the last one from a half box sheet. It's always such a satisfying feeling when you finish up a sheet of stickers. Someone made a suggestion once that I should do like a stickers empty video, which I thought would be really funny, but it would only be like, hey, I used up these stickers. You can't tell what they are anymore. But that would be really funny and I think we should try to at least start doing like photos maybe on like Instagram to kind of encourage people to use up their stickers. And it's definitely hard for me considering I have a whole room full of stickers. I could just go in there and take more. So I'm trying really hard to keep my stash down and this is super exciting. I'm taking one of these gold half boxes from the school kit for Galentine's Day. I think I will put it up here. These are a little bit bigger than the boxes, which is weird. You think Erin Condren would make them the correct size, but what can you do? So I'm just gonna put that right there and then I'll probably put photos and stuff below. I'm gonna take one of these small teardrops from the Valentine's Mini Weekly Kit and put the time right in the corner. While we're at it, we can throw in a couple of Valentine stickers. For Monday, I'm going to put this half box checklist 
with a couple of things I need to do at the top. We're at the point in our wedding planning where we are looking for bakeries and trying to figure out what we want to do for the desserts. And I think we might do something a little bit unconventional, maybe cupcakes or a dessert table, but we have to figure that out still. Rather than calling our accountant on Monday, we're actually gonna have a meeting. So I have these glitter half boxes to try and add a little bit more sparkle to the spread. I'm gonna put that right here. And then we are doing a painting with a twist for one of my friend's birthdays on Wednesday. So I have this other sparkly box. I think I might put it at the bottom because it's in the evening. And I'm gonna use these small little circles to write in the times. On Monday, I have two packages coming, one from Erin Condren with my new hourly planner in it and one from the body shop. So I'm just gonna put those boxes our friend Chad has a soccer game on Tuesday, so I'm gonna take these banners from the classic collection Erin Condren sticker book. I wanna film on Tuesday, so I am gonna remove the sticky notes and then add in another checklist. I'm gonna take this heart from the February sheet in the monthly kit for an MDN batch. I think I'll use this little decorative flag on Tuesday. We're doing a live stream on Saturday, so definitely come back to this channel to see that at 2 p.m. Eastern. We're very excited. We haven't done a live stream in quite a while, so it's probably gonna be a pretty long one because we are jazzed about it. I'm gonna take this heart from the classic collection book to write the time in. I think that'll be a cute touch. For Wednesday, I'm gonna take one of these like labels from this Happy Planner gold sticker collection to remind myself that the giveaway ends on my blog. Then I'm gonna use one of these star banners from the teacher book to remind myself to write thank yous from the P.O. Box video. We're gonna go see Deadpool on Friday because Alex's friend Osmi got us tickets, which was super nice for Alex's birthday. So I'm gonna put that near the bottom so now I'm just taking these label arrows and putting them wherever they seem relevant into the spread. It'll help add a little bit more shimmer and really pull the whole metallic Valentine's Day thing together. I wanna pay our credit card on Monday. There's this little filming marquee clapper thing from the gold kit and I'll just use that one. I'm just adding some gold accents because I really want to make sure that the theme is cohesive and adding them throughout right now will make it really easy to do and then when I add in stuff throughout the week I just can just add in like pinks and reds and all of the gold stuff is already there. So I decided I really didn't like how I wrote Deadpool so I wrote it again. I'm gonna just put that back down there. Yeah, I like that a lot better. It's a little more obvious and purposeful. So there is this really cool sheet at the back of the gold 365 Happy Planner stickers, and I'm gonna use a lot of these. I think they will work so well and really help the spread to round out near the end. I've already used a couple, but I'm just gonna keep going. I think this sticker is perfect for Deadpool because he's like the least appropriate superhero. I think that's really funny. 
I also have some of these like candy hearts from my little chickadee co. So I'll, I'll just use some of the pink ones around the spread to finish it up. All right, there you have it. My metallic gold and red and pink Valentine's Day spread. I think it turned out really well. I like that it pushed me to be a little more creative with how I use sticker books and I did a spread that's a little bit different than what I normally do. So I'm very happy with it and I hope that you guys enjoyed it as well. Let me know what spread you guys did for Valentine's Day or are working on doing for Valentine's Day and I hope you have a lovely holiday if you celebrate. If not, enjoy the day after where candy is super cheap. I always look forward to that. But that's going to be it for today's video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you love playing with me's, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!